Welcome to another installment of Taking Your Job Search Online. Today, Workforce Windsor Essex is excited to announce the launch of the new WeJobs portal and resume builder tool. This newest launch is brought to you in part by our partners at the City of Windsor Employment and Social Services Department. First things first, let's figure out how to sign in. You can visit our website at workforcewindsoressex.com slash register or slash portal, and it'll bring you to the login page here. You can also access the same thing from this gray bar that appears when you're accessing any of our current online job finding tools, such as the WeJobs board, the job map, uh, or the Career Explorer, as shown here. So I'm going to click here to create my account or for myself, log in. To register, you're going to fill in a few pieces of information, including your first and last name, your email address, and to create a password. You can tell us a little bit more about yourself here in this step to create your profile and check off this box here if you're already working with the City of Windsor. Be sure to check the terms and conditions box, verify that you're not a robot, and create your account by clicking register now. For those that have used our job board or any of our other job finding tools, you know that there can be upwards of 2,400 jobs available in the region, and we're pulling from over 50 different job posting websites and sources. But we know that you're not looking to see what's available in each of those 2,400 jobs or all of those industries, companies, or occupations. What the WeJobs portal and resume builder tool do is allow you to create a custom job feed that allows you to follow these occupations, companies, and industries that interest you and are a great match for your skills and experience. That way you never miss another opportunity. So let's get started in the WeJobs portal. I'm going to click on the left-hand menu all the way at the bottom at my profile. I wanna make sure that my profile is filled out with my past occupations, my current or most recent occupations, as well as my target occupations. Again, I have that opportunity to share my information if I'm a current city of Windsor client. I can save any information I change here. The next thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is make sure that I'm following some occupations or jobs, some companies and some industries in the region that may be of interest to me. By clicking on occupations, you can see that I'm already following a couple of them, but that I can explore more down below. I can see how many related job postings are available based on these sectors here and follow any that might be of interest for me. I'm gonna choose here to add advertising, marketing and public relations managers to one that I'm going to follow, noting that there's three jobs available and those three jobs will automatically add to my jobs feed. I'm gonna do the same thing with companies, taking a look at some of the local uh, organizations and businesses across the region that may be hiring at the moment. So I'm just going to add as the first one, our friendly partners over at the Corporation of the City of Windsor. Similarly, I can scroll down to industries and take a look at different sectors that might be of interest based on my previous experience or my intended career outcomes. And I'm gonna type in here, public administration and see what comes up. Again, I'm noting here other federal government public administration as an example has three related jobs and I wanna make sure that those show up in my custom job feed. One of the last things that I have to do to completely build out my profile is to add my skills. I'm clicking my skills in the menu on the left-hand side of the page. You can see here that I've already added quite a number to my existing profile. But if I scroll down further, it actually recommends different skills under knowledge, skills, tools, and technologies based on those that I've already added and those that may be related to previous, current, and intended occupations as well. Some of these are also just skills that many of us might have. So you can see here, I can scroll through and add uh, those that may apply to me. Things like map reading or mapping, bargaining, bank reconciliations and billing. But as I add any of these skills, once I add them, I get the notification that it's been added to my profile. If I don't see a skill that I know I have, I can also take a look at the search related skill tags toolbar here and type in anything that may apply. You'll see that again, a list comes up and if I've already added it to my profile, it appears with a green check mark. But if not, I can add that plus button and it'll be added to my profile. So now that I've gone out and I've built out my profile, I've followed 10 occupations, six companies and two industries, and I've built quite a robust skills profile, it's time to click on my jobs feed. My jobs feed is updated as often as every hour as new occupations, companies and industries post jobs 
related to those that I followed. So from my custom job feed, now I get to narrow down these job opportunities based on those that I intend to apply for and those that I may not be interested in. I can click not interested here to hide those job postings and follow others that I intend to apply for. You'll also note as we're looking through the my jobs feed that there are four different tags that you'll see underneath these career postings. One might be a skills match tag that tell me how much my related skills or my inputted skills relate to this career path and how I may move into this career based on those that I already have. Another you'll likely see is whether or not this job is in demand in the Windsor-Essex region. Next, one of the things that we'll also see through this is whether or not it's a related career. This shows me something similar to the position that I've had or within the same family of jobs that I have now. Say I'm a delivery driver, this may show me things like transport truck driver or limo driver. Same family, but slightly different. And the last tag that I might also see is a career jump. Similar to skills path, this one actually shows me how I could move through a typical career path different than what I'm currently doing now, but another opportunity locally. So now that I've refined the jobs in my jobs feed, I've gone to my job leads. This is the narrowed down list of those specific job postings that I've chosen to follow. If I am no longer interested and would like to put these back in my jobs feed, but not have them here in that specific or refined list, I can unfollow a job post. But what I can do is through these hyperlinks, follow the job lead and apply based on the instructions on that specific job posting. The other thing that I can see here is skill breakdown. So based on what the employer has put into that job posting, I can see whether or not I've had a great skills match. You can see here where I have 100% skills match. I'm not missing much, but can choose to add anything that I might be missing. What's quite great, and you can see here in this related career as I open the skills breakdown, that because there are multiple under knowledge, skills, tools, and technologies, I have the option to add further under what may be considered a knowledge gap. This gray triangle here shows me exactly what the employer was asking for. So what's listed as a job posting skill. Under knowledge, I can see whether or not I have business administration, sales, or web conferencing. I'm definitely gonna add web conferencing as I'm sure many of us are through COVID. Under skills, I can choose to add diplomacy, relationship management, and the others here listed. The second that I click that plus button, you'll notice I see that notification that it's been added to my skills profile. And I can work through this here. Seeing these skills are exactly what I wanna make sure I include in my resume and throughout my cover letter, if applicable, when I'm applying for these positions. So again, I can follow that job post just like I would if I was looking at our job board and follow that link over. And if this link is to expire before or after I can apply, that job will be brought down to the bottom of my list. So I can keep track of those that I followed and perhaps applied for as well. So I've created my profile. I followed some occupations, companies, industries, customized my jobs feed, taken a look at what's available right on the hour, narrow down my search and I'm ready to apply for a job. Now I just need a resume. So to create one, I'm going to my resumes again in that left-hand menu on the page. You can see that I have two uh, resumes already created and I can duplicate them and refine them for current or future job applications and go in and edit these current ones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at the one that I already have and build it out. The first thing that you'll notice is I have nine different templates that are available to me. So I can choose a style that suits me best. I'm going to ensure that my profile is built out with my name, contact information, perhaps a personal statement and my location or social media platforms. And then I'm going through and adding my skills, reflecting again based on those that I've added to my skills library and those that have been seen as a great match for the job that I'm applying for and are also listed in that job posting. I'm then going to go through and add work experience, volunteer experience, education, and training. It's as simple really as scrolling down, clicking the add experience button, typing in the company or job title information, and as much additional detail as I can add in. You'll note that once I've added one of these pieces, the only required information is those that are noted with a red asterisk. To decide or to cancel out one of those new responsibilities or new experiences, I'm just going to click that minus button or subtract button and remove that now. Once all of my information has been put in, including awards and additional languages, 
or references as well, I'm going to go to that customized tab at the back. The customized tab allows me to decide what I would like to show on my resume. If I'd like to include my skills, all of my work experience, volunteer experience, et cetera, how great I'd like spacing to be between some of these components on my resume, whether I'd like to add references available upon request and so on. This really helps to see what it's going to look like in this preview on the right-hand side. You can see here that I have a resume on the right-hand side that's barely skipped over to a second page. So what I could choose to do is add additional page breaks between some of these components as well, or to increase the spacing. If I do that and go from small to medium, I save and preview, and it'll give me that newest version of my resume on the right-hand side. Once I'm completed and I'm happy with my resume, I can change the title and preview or download it to then upload it and apply for the job. And there it is, my resume completed all online through my jobs portal and the resume builder tool. Workforce Windsor Essex and the city of Windsor would like to thank you for watching this video and checking out the tools at workforcewindsoressex.com. This tool is available at workforcewindsoressex.com slash portal. And if you add dash help, so workforcewindsoressex.com slash portal dash help, you'll find tips, tricks, and walkthroughs on how to make the be best of this and more tools. These tools are going to be available on our website 24 seven. They're free to access. And we really hope that they help you make the absolute best of your job search here in Windsor Essex.